What's up guys and welcome to this episode of Forgotten Homes Ontario. Today we're exploring this massive mansion. I'm joined by Ethan. What's up guys? And he showed us a spot like always because he's a savage. And yeah, this place actually has a pool in it and it's huge. So let's go check it out and uh, go follow him if you haven't already. This is the front entrance, and if you look, it's carpet on the walls. That is a weird choice, but it's whatever. This is another one of those spots, though, that there's so much black mold in it. And uh, two people I'm exploring with forgot their masks. Yeah, the fire alarm or smoke detector is dying in here. This place is huge. It is massive. There's a lot of natural light. One thing to notice in here too is look at all these cabinets. These are really nice actual wood then you got glass counters or glass shelves sorry but then you can just see the actual mold again apparently two weeks ago it wasn't like this so that is extraordinary if that's the case Another interesting thing too is look at the, uh, it's like a balcony that leads to nowhere, which is really awkward. It's like, what's this for? Is this just to let in air? Or is this just, like, it, it stops. It's like two inches. So I don't understand. So now we're going to make our way down this hallway. Mold again. I think these lights are really cool. They're massive too. And then you got your big open kitchen. It's really interesting to see. These are good cabinets too. Ain't nothing wrong with those. Got the tabletop built-in uh, elements, which is really nice also. I don't know why this is so low too, but <laughs> imagine, I, I could literally whack my head off it. Like, look at, look at how high <laughs> the low it is. Oh, this is cool too. They got like pot lights all throughout here. So that lights that all up really pretty and stuff. They even have the fridge still and mail. But I'm not going to show you the mail. And a microwave. This could have been like an entertainment room or something like that. Not 100% sure, but there's just mold everywhere. Then this is their massive walkout enclosed balcony which is really nice and it leads into a different room Ooh. oh hello like this place is huge though guys it just keeps going and going and going
It's always toilet paper. Every single time. Got a nice stone fireplace right there too. Anything in the garage? Kind of like a little workshop bench here. Single door, which is double basically. Yeah, pretty unfinished. We got the nice doors right there too. I like the glass on them. So that's pretty much upstairs, isn't it? So I'm gonna go check down here. So apparently there is a pool down here, which I'm seeing already, pretty sure. So this should be cool. That's cool, there's like a like a print on the wall. It's like a wallpaper print. Start over here first. storage. Mm. And they got a sauna. Makes sense if they have a pool. Just got your sauna all hooked, set up in here. It's cool. That would suck if the hot water pipe exploded. There's a sauna. Over there? Yeah, I don't know if you saw it or not, but there is a sauna. What's crazy to me about this place is, is there's a freaking indoor pool. That's crazy. Ooh, it echoes. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. What do you think about that? It's awesome. That's really unbelievable. That, like a house like this would have something like this in the basement. Pretty cool. Imagine living here though. Like it's like, oh, I'm gonna just go for a swim. It's a deep ass pool too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a deep ass pool. <laughs> Imagine farting in here. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can get out. Made it! You were just talking down. I'm a fighter ship. Alright, go. You got this. Stunts. Stunting on the hose. Do we actually? Oh yeah, pull up like uh, three bedrooms and kitchen. Oh yeah. Alright, well that was good fun. Absolutely. Bye, had fun. How did you go See, I'll have to go back through and take pictures. <laughs> like this? Like, look at that. that way. I went that way already. That goes upstairs anyway. What? Yeah. You got the money. Yeah, it's pretty helpful, isn't it? Headlights. Whoa! Whoa! Yo, I f with this. Look at the decay. Oh, 
so good. Look at the decay in here. Look at this. Jesus. This is a bad shape, guys. Yeah, we were but down there like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is there like hardwood under this floor? Oh, it must the... be, because it's all buckled. Yeah. That's stupid. So how do you access this from the main floor? You can't. You, you have to go from the basement. Maybe it's like a split up house or something. Maybe it's like... It's weird how it's like... Yeah, because this is the front. It's almost like I think like, this was the original house, and then they had it back. They got some decent appliances too. <laughs> Man, the floor is real buckled in here. Sketchy. The nice floors other than buckling. Got another one. Shut up. Was this marble too? Awesome. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching the episode of Forgotten Homes Ontario. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, go check out Ethan's account, I'll link them in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.